Hey, hey everyone, and happy Saturday. I'm Yang Pratt, the chief dreamer and podcaster right here at Our Young Creators, and today I have a special guest for us. You want to introduce yourself? <laughs> this is my youngest, Daphne, if you have not already met her. Now, Daphne was the one who inspired Our Young Creators, and she went on an experiment with me to see if she could learn all the skills and take over for my virtual assistant who is working on my blogs and on my podcast. And I'm happy to report that she is doing that quite well now. And she's also doing this work for another entrepreneur. So that is super, super exciting. And it's a great example of how kids are really capable of learning very adult kind of things and they can actually use their own devices to help other people and help themselves to really craft their own brighter futures. Now today I wanted to talk about lifelong learning. It's something that I'm truly obsessed with. I read ravenously and usually have at least two books that I'm enjoying at any given time. Right now, I'm reading one by Jen Sincero, and all about um, you are a bad A at making money is what the title of the book is. And then I have another book that I read in the evening times. Um, that's a fiction book that I read before bed. And over this Christmas break, the plan is that we are actually working on creating a Pinterest account for our young creators because Daphne and her sister Sophie create so many amazing images that we want to be able to share them and help as many people in the new year as possible to really turn consumption time on devices into creation time. Now if you are joining us live or catching the replay, go ahead and say hello below and let us know that you are here. I think this is day number 18. 18, 19 of 100 of our 100 days of Facebook Live Challenge hosted by myself and my friend Tasha Cole, aka Tasha Knows. And if you are interested in joining in on this challenge, you are welcome to do so. Just head over to bit.ly slash 100 days of FB Live. And in, in addition to our Pinterest page that's coming up over the Christmas break, we're also working on building out our blog content. Now, if you have been around this page for a while, you know that we go live quite a lot. And often we actually use our live videos and put them over on our podcast as well so we can reach as many people as possible. So I just invested in another course about blogging. And now you may be wondering why I would do that because I'm a blogger myself, but I really feel like there's something more out there that I could be doing and it's exciting for me to learn and hence the title of being a lifelong learner. I love to learn things. I love being able to go through a course and take the steps necessary to check those things off. This particular course actually has homework that you submit and you get approval on, which is a fantastic thing that I haven't seen in a lot of courses these days. So I'm so pleased with what the course is now. And when I wrap up that experience, I will come back on and share with you what the course was and how you can do the same as well. So Daphne is here today because we are planning on doing something fun tomorrow. And so tomorrow being Sunday and the end of the first week of Christmas break already seems hard to believe. But what are we going to do tomorrow, Daphne? We're going to make t-shirts. Yeah, so tomorrow we are going to pull out the vinyl and use our silhouette machine. And we're going to cut this vinyl and then we're going to heat press it onto some t-shirts. So on tomorrow's video, we're going to invite you to come in to our craft room and see how we create these t-shirts and what we ultimately create together. And my friends, if you are enjoying Christmas break with your kiddos and you're looking for more activities to do with them, you can always head over to our website at ouryoungcreators.com slash winter and grab our free list of 
50 winter boredom busters. Now, Daphne and her sister Sophie helped me put the list together to make sure that these activities were not all ones that moms might want to do, but they are indeed activities that kids would enjoy as well. Again, you can get that at ouryoungcreators.com slash winter. And my friends, we are off to enjoy day number three of our Harry Potter marathon. And we'll be back tomorrow to show you how we create these vinyl t-shirts. Cheers, everyone.